Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add visitor counter in Shopify. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you actually add a visitor calendar in Shopify? Well, in this case, it's kind of easy, but we won't be able to do it directly from Shopify. Now we'll be using another website for us to do this. In this case, we'll be using Elfside. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the sign up button at the top right screen here if you do not have your account. But since I already have my account, I could, I could just go ahead and click on log in. Now on the login page, I could choose my Google account or Facebook account or email here. In this case, I'm going to use Google and basically log in. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to see your dashboard here. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to add a new app. So at the bottom left here, let's go and click on add new app. And from here, we need to search for the visitor counter app. In this case, let's go and type in visitor here. And once you've typed that in, you can go and click on visitor counter. Now, what we need to do next is we just need to start customizing our visitor counter. In this case, you could choose whatever template you want to use here. So for example, I'll be using this template here. In this case, let's go, click, let's go ahead and click on continue with this template. And from here, you could go ahead and choose or change a few things here. Like for example, what to count, so unique visitors or each page views. They also have the number format here. In this case, you could choose comma, dot, space, or none. In this case, we'll be keeping this as comma. In this case, let's go ahead and click on the info section. Now, if you want to include information about today, yesterday, this week, you can go ahead and enable that as well. You also have the total starting value here. If you want to start your uh, visitor count first or basically boost it up a bit. You also have the layout here if you want to change it. As you can see right now, we will be using the first one here. Now, if you want to add messages or even add or change your header here or even change the weekly stats graphs here if you want to uh, show them. In this case, if you want to change the style, you could change the color scheme, the size, and the border ranges here, and a lot more. But in this case, we are good with this one. Let's go and click on publish at the top right here. And from here, we'll need to choose a plan. Now, the great thing about f here is you could use it for free. So we'll be using the free version here. Let's go and click on select. Now, in this case, let's go and click on copy code. And let's go back into our Shopify store. In this case, go to Teams, click on customize. And under in here, what we need to do next is we need to add a section. In this case, we'll be adding a section here. Let's go and click on add section at the left panel. And from here, let's just type in a custom and choose the option that says custom liquid. Now, once you've done that, as you can see, you now have an empty section. Now at the top right here, go to liquid code, enter the link or the code that you copied before. And from here, let's go ahead and click on anywhere and just click on save. Now, typically it's going to reload itself so in this case, we, we just need to wait for it to load up properly. And as you can see right now, we now have a visitor counter. Now in this case, you could go ahead and just reposition it in whatever way that you want. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.